now going to cross over to Credit Agricole's London offices and the Assistant Director of uh, Capital Market Strategy, Orlando Green. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Portugal's uh, rating on review, is this uh, a surprise to you? We haven't heard much of Portugal of late, uh, mm -hmm. but things haven't been improving there, have they? It's not entirely a surprise. I mean, we've had Moody's, uh, S&P, they've been doing the rounds, mm. and it's generally been negative news for the Eurozone, so it's not entirely a surprise. Now, we've also been hearing in the past couple of days about uh, France and the idea that uh, mm -hmm. its AAA credit rating might be under review. It would be a brave credit rating agency, wouldn't it, that would take away uh, France's AAA credit rating or be the first to do it? <laughs> Um, you could say so. Uh, I think, uh, I mean, from our perspective, uh, you know, we do not see uh, this scenario playing out. We do think they are they're making progress on the fiscal side, if you look at the numbers, on a monthly basis uh, this year. I think really where the market's a bit concerned about France is about their fiscal ambition. You know, there's not enough maybe meat in terms of their austerity program. So that's where the concern is uh, really coming from. But for the time being, uh, we're not really hearing much in terms of major negative comments from uh, the uh, ratings agencies. Now, lots of talk of downgrades, but the uh, actual downgrade came for Ireland. Um, now there is talk about the idea of restructured uh, Irish debt uh, becoming more likely. Do you see that as something that we're going to be facing in the new year? I mean, I mean, our scenario is that, that of course, there is uh, a concern uh, you know, with regards to restructuring. Um, I mean, we're, we're not, uh, uh, we're, we're expecting the, 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 the EFSF to, uh, to come in and basically um, certainly keep uh, Ireland alive support. Um, but we're not seeing restructuring as being a, a, major, uh, a major risk, uh, certainly with the way the environment is at the moment. It will be too uh, risky. Uh, really sending other countries uh, the contagion factor into a, a downward spiral. Mm. Well, now the ECB uh, has, of course, uh, kept up that commitment to buy bonds uh, from peripheral countries. That's something that it's got to keep doing, really, now, hasn't it? It doesn't have much choice. No, absolutely. Um, they, they've shown already that they can step it up um, when, they, when they choose. And uh, they're, they're now, of course, they've, uh, um, they've said they, they're going to increase their capital base. Uh, so this is all bodes, if you like, well in terms of the ECB's commitment to, to a very stressful cause. No, the big one, of course, is uh, Spain. There's another small Spanish mm -hmm. bond auction today. Uh, the last one, the 10-year the, the, the notes, didn't go particularly well, and they've got a lot of money to raise next year, don't they? There is uh, funding uh, issues. I, I think, really, you know, Spain, they have to pretty much uh, start funding from, uh, from the get-go. Uh, next year, I think maybe Portugal could hold off uh, a little bit, uh, you know, given that their funding needs, of course, are a fraction of uh, Spain, so they may be able to delay maybe a, a few weeks. But Spain have to uh, have to start funding pretty much uh, straight away. So I think the the auctions that we had the last time round, of course, they were pretty, they were weak. I mean, there's no getting away from that. But they were able to uh, to uh, raise the capital, so their, cap their ra uh, capital raising capability is still there, but only just. Okay. Orlando Green, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.